welcome to our channel in the last session we discussed introduction to css and also discussed different types of style sheets what is that meaning of style sheet we are applying styles to html web pages there we discussed three types one is inline css their style attribute is used second one is internal css where style tag is used and within that tag we are writing some selector with the properties and values in the external also the same thing selector property value is written in a separate css file we already discussed now in this session we are going to discuss about different types of selector we already know what is the syntax of selector selector opening bracket some property value clear the meaning is this is selector is an html tag these are the properties and values clear now move to different types the first one is tag or type selector id selector class universal grouping customized now we will discuss each and every selector with one example the first one is type selector it is also called as a tag selector meaning is simply we are writing one selector in the style tag in the body section the checks for matching if the tag name matches the property is applied for that one property is applied for that particular thing now i will explain with one example first to write down the style type is equal to text or css within that style tag write down one selector suppose here i written h1 color red now text to align center okay my selector is completed within the body tag what i did welcome to css this is one h1 h1 welcome to our channel now i will write down one p welcome to html now observe carefully here type or tag means this is the tag in the body section it checks for the match so here h1 there is a match now property is applied to this one here this is also h1 property is applied to this one but this is p this is h1 both are not equal property is not at all applied now refresh observe property is applied to two h1s clear that is called type selector or also called as tag selector clear now i am moving to next one id next one is id selector means we are selecting the corresponding tags based on some identification see this one mainly used to specify for a single unique element that means i have a property if you want to apply the property for single element then this id attribute is used how can you differentiate with this normal prefixed with hash symbol prefixed with hash symbol see this one hash div so div is some tag hash div now this is called id selector or you can use this one before hash you can use any name also but this must and should be used this must and should be used now i will explain with one example observe carefully here if you want to make h1 as id tag before that one place hash now understand before that one place hash here i given color is equal to red to text is equal to align now what is the thing here i written h1 is equal to welcome to css h1 is equal to welcome to css sir this is like previous one where it is applied i will refresh and execute 
see welcome to css welcome to our channel welcome to html this color red do and center property is not applied previously this is applied now the property is not applied why this is id to which tag you want to apply the property right like this id is equal to the property name id is equal to h1 suppose see here also you can write id is equal to h1 remember here no need to write h1 also anyway i will show you refresh now observe first one it is applied paragraph it is applied second h1 i didn't apply observe second one i am not applied this one i think you clear the points and again i said remember here h1 is not required uh, for example you can use any name qw 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 save refresh observe properties applied id if you are using id in the sense it simply matches the corresponding tag if there is a match and that property is applied generally id is used in a situation where you want to apply the property to only one tag now the next one is class selector class selector means if you want to apply some property to a group of elements apply a property to a group of elements then we are using class selector simply prefixed with dot selector name or dot any name dot any name now same example see here dot q w e dot q w e here in place of id we are returning class in place of id we are returning class remember the simple difference is previously i used id for two tags generally that is not preferred id if you want to use id single tag class is used in most of the cases if you want to apply the style to multiple properties multiple elements class is used now the see if you heard out i will change the color now see color is applied or not color is applied or not clear this is a class attribute this is class attribute i think you clear think you clear now the next here simply observe here this tag uses qwe this property is applied to this one this tag uses qwe this property is applied to this one not only this you can apply to specific html also you can write uh, for example p dot q w e p dot q w e now observe h1 class is equal to q w e p class is equal to q w e save and run now what is the meaning of this one understand carefully even though here you are writing class is equal to q w e the property is not applied why here before dot if you are using p for that p only that is applied suppose if you are removing p then for all the classes who import this one the property is applied now you, you got the points you got the points okay that is class selector that is class selector now next one is universal selector the next one is universal selector the name specifies here we are using asterisk universal means asterisk simply the property is applied to all the elements in a web page property is applied to all the elements in a web page observe here i given star here i given star here no need to use all this
this property is applied for all the tags in the html page clear applied or not applied or not this is group selector now the next one is sorry that is the universal selector next to one is grouping selector means observe carefully here h1 is there these are the properties h2 these two are the properties p these are the property now observe h1 h2 p all the three tags have same property instead of writing same property multiple number of times i written this one the selectors are separated with a comma h1 comma h2 comma p you got an idea now see this one suppose h1 comma h2 comma p what happened these properties are applied to h1 are applied to h2 and p suppose i will write down one more thing b welcome to python this properties are not applied to b the properties are not applied to b check this one check this one clear that is group selector the meaning is if you want to apply a property suppose multiple tags have same property instead of rewriting write only one time and the next one a last one is customized selector customized the name specifies you can create your own selector see this one here i am creating one own selector here i am applying a style for that one so not only predefined for example observe some samp here so open close means user create their own tag with some property these properties apply to samp not only samp you can write your name also that is with your name with some property you are creating some tags that is also possible see this one see here welcome to our channel green color so all the properties are not at all applied for example text to align this is not there uh, for example text to decoration i am given some underline underline now refresh see underline is applied or not if you want to give some uh, font family i am given this font vardana see font changed like this you can apply different you can create different types now everyone is clear what is the today's one tag or type selector by default you are writing this one id selector before prefixed with hash symbol class selector dot symbol universal means star grouping means you are grouping multiple tags customized means you can create your own selector like this you can create different selectors depending upon the application clear this is the end of selectors thank you